I didn't wake up one day and just decide to bake sourdough. I was actually on the computer Googling around for um, tickets to Australia, of all things, um, and I stumbled upon an Australian blog, and the name is Fig Jam and Lime Cordial, and the person who authors the blog, her name is Celia. Celia is also an incredible sourdough baker. So I got roped into her whole world of baking this awesome, amazing bread. And she was so happy about it. She you know, talked about it with such enthusiasm and wonderment and excitement. And I'm like, what is it about sourdough that makes this woman so happy? Like, I had to have it. So I kept following her blog, following the story. And one day, I just reached out to her, and we became friends. And the cool thing is she sent me some of her sourdough starter. So she dried it from liquid form to these like little white flakes. She mailed it to me, and basically that's how my journey began. And that's how all of this happened. So it's just really exciting. So what makes this book really unique, uh, something that I wish that I had when I first started baking sourdough, is that it's a beginner's guide. So you'll find in here lots of step-by-step -step photos, all of the steps for sourdough explained so that if you want some more knowledge or you have questions about certain things, you can go and just read it at your leisure. But also, the book is designed so that you don't have to read any of this stuff if you don't want to. So if you want to just jump right in and just make a loaf of bread, you can. The recipes are basically no need. You don't have to get in there and like punch the dough and like get all crazy. You just basically throw everything into a bowl, give it a quick mix, and let it rise overnight or let it rise you know, during the day for a really long period of time so you could go do whatever you have to do. I always say with sourdough, you don't have to have the experience to make a loaf of dough because you should treat it like you're making dinner. Okay? You look at the recipe, you say, oh, I can do that. I have those ingredients. What you do, it's just flour and water, right? And just follow the directions. Everything else, the scoring, the shaping, the designs, the pattern, all that will come later. If you could just follow the basic directions, just like you would any other recipe, 